Welcome back to our life as Cherry Moore now in Moss Clan and I think I'm starting this just by saying we're sitting vigil at night so that I can go through relationships and start to look at how those have changed since we were an apprentice I think was when I last looked at them. So at night we have to be silent to on a, the warrior code and like prove our loyalty to the clan and we're loyal now we've got a loyal trait we were sweet and then compassionate and now loyal and an eloquent speaker and learner of law so so we really like rattle cry and the autistic frog left a comment that i really like the idea of which was that Cherry Moore sees him as a sort of last link to his father because he was the last cat to take a patrol with him and then over the moons they've spent a lot of time together and even though Rattlecry spent the best part of that time juggling two apprentices and aiding a very young leader he always made time for Cherry Moore and maybe it was out of a sense of guilt like because he had to come back from that patrol without his dad but whatever the reason is i think he's become a guardian figure for cherry Moore. but there's not as much respect there as he has for some other clanmates which makes me think that maybe he speaks to him more like a family member than a deputy which would make sense of this high level of comfort so since rattle cries are sort of guardian figure I did write a little thing about how he greets us after our ceremony so as Cherry Moore descended the high stone he was greeted with the chants of his clanmates flanks pressed against him as he weaved forwards towards the familiar patch pelt of rattle cry the older Tom had no words to offer but he dipped his head respectfully and Cherry searched his face for a moment looking for pride or warmth I did it he says almost breathlessly and rattle cry nods in return midnight heartwood his ears prick at the mention of his father's name it's the first time he's heard a single cat utter it since he passed but as rattle cry holds his eager gaze he seems to reconsider well done, Cherry Moore. Now, go eat. You've got a long night ahead of you. The feeling of some cat briefly bumping his shoulder pulls his gaze away for a moment, and when he looks back to smile at Rattle Cry, the other Tom's already gone. Then, reflecting on our relationship with Ravenfoot, we still think she's fantastic. I think it's just because she's so driven and confident in her abilities so she's the kind of warrior we want to be and we have a lot of nostalgia for the time we spent following her around as a kit so it's comforting to have her as a clanmate but we are doing our best to seem less like a fanboy and more like a clanmate who can earn her respect and we're pretty sure she doesn't see us as an equal quite yet but we'll get there give us time <laughs> then we've got Shellstar, who we like quite a bit. We think they're a good leader, and even though they've got the strict traits, so they're very strict with the clan, they've been really supportive of us, and they've never let us doubt ourselves for even a second. They mentored us, so they've been a really fair mentor who pushed us to be the best we can, and we trust them to lead the clan. So it's all positive things for them. Then we get to Strike Dapple. We've been friends with her for quite a while. She's got a really helpful nature and she's a good teacher now, so we feel very comfortable around her. And we've always been a couple steps behind her in terms of like training and age. And it annoyed her a little bit to have a kit chatting to her like an equal when she was an apprentice and an apprentice constantly asking for tips when she was a warrior so that dynamic might even out a bit now that they're both warriors but 
for now, I think she doesn't see us as quite on her level. <laughs> not, not quite, not just yet, but we'll get there. Now, Crested Web has been one of our closer friends since they were small, so we have a bit of a respect for her as a warrior and enough trust to know that she's a clan mate we'd like to keep around. And I think maybe we're not necessarily comfortable because she's gotten quite flamboyant and it's hard to know how to take her sometimes, but we still spend a lot of time nerding out about lore and the history of the clan. So that's something we have in common still. And then we've got Fallow. So Shellstar accepted Fallow into the clan when we were quite young. Uh, I think it was on our first ever tour of the territory and we came across him and he fit in quite fast. Um, he was healing from his injuries, but he showed such an unfaltering faith in Star Clan that Cherry Moore couldn't help but trust him. And he's a good cat to go to for advice. He, I'm sure he, yeah, he, he actually taught us a battle move, which was pretty neat. <laughs> uh, we still don't know exactly where he came from, but Shellstar always insists that a cat's past is their business and their contribution to the clan is what they should be judged on. So we try and uphold that, even though we're very nosy and we want to know what happened here. Low Buzz is another cat we like quite a bit. I think ever since we were a kit, we've been curious about her really strange medicine cat ways. And when we got a bit older, we realized how stressful it must have been keeping everyone on their paws. So we started checking in quite a lot to see if she needs help carrying some herbs back to camp or is this okay? Do you need me to help out with this? And I actually think that little bit of dislike might be because she's troublesome and there is absolutely no way that she would have stopped teasing us about Rabbit Gate. I think to her so much time's passed that the worst any cat suffered was a sore tummy. But to Cherry Moore, it's like his greatest childhood shame. So she's constantly teasing him about it and he's like, I cannot hear about this one more time, <laughs> please. Let's see if that's reciprocate. Oh, Cherry Moore, get your act together. She loves you. <laughs> so cute. His ears dropping on global. Mm. Oh, let me get back to relations. I get distracted so easy. Speaking of global, we really care about him and. I think we've been looking out for him since he was brought to the clan because we know what it's like to have a den to ourselves so we try and make it known that even though we're a warrior we're still here to hang out and he's charismatic so he's easy to talk to and he's got a sort of like fidgety energy that we end up mirroring whenever we're around him. Ripple Shade. Okay so Ripple Shade is always trying to set a good example for cats, that's come up quite a lot for her, but no matter what example she tries to set, she's like uniquely chaotic and her advice is always like likely to land you in trouble. But she is quite persuasive. So I think we have some trust for her and quite a lot of respect and we always feel comfortable when we speak to her, but she is a little chaos bomb and we love that for her. Then we have Bernet Smoke. So, Bernet Smoke always has the best stories to tell. She's telling Kit stories quite a lot. And I think when we were younger, she could be a little frightening. Like when we look at her, we can kind of see the ghost of what a powerful, relentless warrior she used to be. And her tongue is just as sharp as her claws. So she's not really one for the faint hearted, but I think it's really clear to us that she softens herself for younger cats and we can see that really. K 
compassionate part of it. I think they like that. Makes her a valuable clan mate. Then we have Bluebell Web, our mediator. I think we really like his sense of justice and he played with us a lot as a kid. And I think his role as a mediator is really intriguing to us. We're curious about all the stories that he might have collected while setting all these different conflicts straight. So he's someone, yeah, we, we like quite a bit. And that brings us to Cops Minnow who, for some reason, has this sliver of romantic-like. I don't know where this... <laughs> okay, we can work with that. Yeah, I'll take that. So, Cops Minnow's always had the time of day for us. Um, I guess she's always looked at us as an equal, even with the little bit of age difference. Unlike Strike Dapple, who very much is like, you are two minutes younger, you are a child. Cops Minnow's always been really friendly and we like her well enough but she's not like one of our peers that we've spoken to a lot. We weren't in the nursery with her for very long and then we didn't share the apprentice den with her for very long so she's in this odd spot of I'd like to get to know you better but I don't think we quite realise that one of the reasons we might be wanting to get to know her better is because of this sliver of a crush that's starting to form which is so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, we had an eventful vigil sitting there and just reflecting on everyone in the clan and what they mean to us. Oh, goodness. Okay, so Shellstar is feeling underappreciated. Might have been a really busy moon and there's a lot going on and it's hard being a leader. And Rattle Cry is ears dropping on Cherry Moor. <laughs> Probably waiting for a chance to congratulate us. Low Buzz is ears dropping on Glowpaw. I don't know why your ears dropping, but Glowpaw might be up to sweet. Bluebell Web is negotiating with a kitty pet to make use of the herbs in their two leg garden. Oh, that's smart. We like that. Good going. Ripple Shade wonders how Cops Minnow is doing. Oh. Her former apprentice. Fallow wants to get to know Shellstar better. Interesting. And Ravenfoot is sparring with some clanmates. Cops Minnow is challenging any clanmate they can to a sparring match with minimal recruiting success. <laughs> okay. Strike Dapple is an awe of Shellstar's leadership. You're always an aura shell star. You were trying to get shell star to like you the other day. Crested Web wonders how Fallow's doing. And Cherry Moore is feeling down. I think maybe because we've reached this really important milestone and it kind of it reminds us of Midnight Heart's absence. I think we just wish we could speak to him and hear him say, I'm proud of you. Look what you've become. So we're just sitting with those feelings a little bit. Glowport is helping to reinforce the camp walls with brambles. Very helpful. And Bennett Smoke is bossing around the younger cats. Probably bossing around Glowport saying, you're not setting that up right. Try again. Take that down. Reinforce better. <laughs> but like just watching from the sidelines. So I think because we're very close with Rattlecry, they'd be the first warrior we'd want to speak to after sitting the vigil. There's too much to do right now. Let's talk later. Right. Okay, Rattlecry. I keep forgetting you're so busy. Oh, Rattlecry's busy. <laughs> after he is dropping on <laughs> What's this odd atmosphere then? Hmm. I guess we talked it. Eh? Eh? Oh no! Don't give me that power! Don't give me that power! I'm I I I'm unstoppable. 
Okay, so we'll catch up with our leader and former mentor. Ready to patrol, brave warrior? Your skills and courage protect our borders. You're not just a warrior, but a role model for our younger clan members. I'm grateful for your service. Your dedication makes our clan strong. Remember, a great warrior wins not because they're strong, but because they're clever. Your courage inspires us all. Keep making the clan proud. Ah, well at least Shellstar had some time for that nice exchange. We will, Shellstar. We can do this. Lupus. You know what? We'll check in on Cops Minnow. Every battle leaves a score, seen or unseen. It's part of being a warrior. But remember, scars aren't signs of weakness. They're badges of survival. Symbols of strength. The reminders of the battles we've won. The challenges we've overcome. So, wear your scars with pride. They're a part of who you are. A part of your story. They're proof that you're tougher than whatever tried to hurt you. <laughs> well, you do look tough, Cops Minnow. I hope your tail heals soon. And maybe, maybe just because there's a sliver of a crush and I've got this button now. This is a powerful button. I'm going to use it. Really? Well, your eyes are like moonlight. Cute compliment. What did you actually? Oh, what? Girl, why? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So I think we go on our first patrol as a warrior. Random it. Okay, we're going with Lovas. Lovas has to attend to one of their grimmer jobs as a medicine cat. The grounds where Moss Clan goes to mourn their dead need to be tended to. They're bringing along Cherry Moore as their assistant for this trip, and the two cats head out in relative silence. There's a sharp yowl of pain, followed by a string of muttered curses, and Lopez turns to see Cherry Moore holding one of their paws off the ground. It seems that the other cat stepped on a fawn. Ouch. They'll have to go back to camp and fix that up. I think Cherry Moore wasn't feeling his usual self as he followed behind Lopez. She seemed to try to pull him into conversation with like warm congratulations and small quips about finally being taller than her but he couldn't really muster the energy to do more than offer a smile that didn't quite reach his eyes and when they reached the graves Lobos just starts flittering about clearing all these patches of overgrown weeds that are growing on these stones that mark the fallen warriors and Cherry Moore stops in front of this familiar pile of rocks which is Midnight Heart's resting place and this massive tangle of thorns has grown in like an ugly knot over it and he starts thinking has it really been that long since he'd last visited and why had no cat cleared away all these ugly spikes so with some frustration and some shame he quickly starts tugging and pulling at them to come loose but then one digs into his paw and low buzz insists on returning to camp to get a proper look at it Ugh, oh, Cherry Moore. You just made a warrior, you should feel so much happier. But you can't help missing your dad. But maybe the next moon will be a little better for him. Okay, 
cell, Cherry Moe's small coat is held up nicely. An earthquake rocks camp, and you help calm the frightened kids. You have words of wisdom that help resolve a quarrel between two young apprentices. The apologies and nod of gratitude fill you with pride. You save a clan mate during a river flood, and their grateful look fuels your determination to protect your clan. You and your patrol successfully chase off a rival clan. The victory yells echo for the forest. This was a really eventful first moon as a warrior. You know, we healed up okay, but we've just had a lot of catastrophes. And... Oh, um, I'm nervous, but okay. <laughs> okay, the last cat I expected. <laughs> Burnet Smoke announced that they're expecting kits. They don't believe they can effectively pull <laughs> They don't believe they can effectively perform their duties while expecting kits. <laughs> and decide to move into the nursery. <laughs> so Burnet Smoke's like, these elders' duties are just <laughs> too much <laughs> I need to move into the nursery oh my gosh I'm like excited but so confused and this is so funny I love it yeah okay yeah <laughs> quick glance through all of these relationships because they might inspire me later And Cherry Moore caught Blue Bell Web complaining about them behind the back. Oh, that sounds like Blue Bell Web to be fair. And Cops Minnow is sharing tongues with Cherry Moore, so it looks like we've been spending a bit more time together. Maybe because we're both in the medicine cat den, because we scraped our paw and Cops Minnow had the mangled tail. I wonder if Cops Minnow's healed actually. And Fallow feels relieved at the lack of pain in the head. The headache seems to have finally gone away. Good for you, fellow. Let's have a look at how everyone's doing. So, Shellstar wants to get to know Cherry more better. That's useful. Means we can chat. Greetings, warrior. Your poor steps shape our clan's path through the forest of clan politics. Each decision we make, from a daily patrols to the most significant cross-clan discussions, is part of this path. I value your thoughts and observations. Your experiences can provide vital insights into the decisions we need to make. Through our collective wisdom, we ensure strength and prosperity of our clan. Your courage alone and dedication are an inspiration to us all. Together, we can overcome any challenge. <laughs> Good to know that we, we're playing a role in helping Shellstar make his decisions. Rattlecry makes note of Glopor's journey as an apprentice. And Glopor's had a tough journey being a second apprentice to someone who was already training someone. <laughs> but I think they're coming along well. Lobos wants to get to know Rippleshade better. Blue Bellweb is greatly annoyed by her clanmate's inability to accept her in the wrong. And for some reason, I think that's about us. I just have a feeling. <laughs> I feel like we've said something. <laughs> Ripple Shade's still wondering how Cops Minnow's doing. And Fallow thinks they're going crazy. Why? Why would. <laughs> Hang in there. You got this. I know you're surrounded by incredibly peculiar cats, but I think I think you can manage. Ravenfoot's ears dropping on Shell Star. And Cops Minnow is sparring with some clan mates. You're in the medicine cat that you finally found someone to fight you. <laughs> Strike Dapple is feeling sassy today. Oh, nice. 
and Cressid Webb is craving the taste of rabbit. We were recently caught humming to ourselves. And Glowpaw can see how busy their mentor is still. They just want training. <laughs> but their mentor is always busy. Then we've got Bennett Smoke, who's hoping Shellstar notices their improvement. What? Im <laughs> what improvement? What do you mean? Your temperament? Are you being nicer to people? <laughs> Are you trying harder to like tolerate all these kids because you're having some now? I've got to know. <laughs> well then, I and go on another patrol and random another cat oh fallow this time right so we're going on a random patrol with fallow the patrol looks around for something to disguise their scent while hunting the patrol finds nothing to disguise their scent and no prey either oof so that wasn't very productive <laughs> But we have done a lot this moon and we feel like, you know, we've done enough to feel proud of ourselves. We'll chat to Low Buzz to thank her for treating our cut. There's too much to do right now. Talk later. We'll talk later. Everyone's always so busy. <laughs> Why are these two greyed out? It's odd. Are we only allowed to... No, because we're allowed to talk once a moon, not once every two moons. I am confused. Huh. But while I remember... Where's Bluebell Web? Where are you? Bluebell Web. I went past you. I keep thinking you're going to be a silver cat. I don't know why, but you're not. But because Bluebell Web's Demetria, I figured that once every two moons we can random a cat to be mediated with. Oh! Fallow again! And I don't think I'll allow romantic for the random mediations. Oh, but I'd like to decide if it's mediate or sabotage actually. Hang on. So I'm going to coin flip for whether it's a mediate or sabotage. I need a better system than this, but this is what I'll do for now. So heads mediate, tails sabotage. Tails? I don't want to. <laughs> Too late. Okay, so basically, whatever we've... Whatever we've done wrong, that's made Bluebell Web think we're not owning up to our mistakes enough, has let them have a little chat with Fallow about us, and that's when we caught them having a conversation behind our back. So they sabotaged. <laughs> it's a shame, but it couldn't be helped. I think, well, maybe, yeah, we'll move on to the next moon and see what it has in store for us. We comfort a kit who's scared during a thunderstorm. And because there's no kits, I'll say we comforted Global, who was very scared during the thunderstorm. Oh my god. <laughs> Moss Clan welcomes Glowchirp as a new warrior, honouring their good nature. So it wasn't a kit we fitted during the thunderstorm. It was a grown warrior who was in our den with us. Bennett Smoke's unsure how many kits they'll have. Oh my gosh. Bennett Smoke's an amazing storyteller, we know that. Cherrymore thinks Lobos was nice to them today. 
and Lobo's rattle cry and Cherry Moore took a sunbathe and had a little small talk, which we like to hear. Shellstar saved Cops Minnow from a, a big dog, but was badly injured. Oh, we don't catch a break. Bluebell Web skips around camp with a pep in their step and a new flower accessory. Bluebell Web, you look so smart. <laughs> and they're still greatly annoyed by a clanmate's inability to accept they were in the wrong. I think at this point, we just need to talk to them to sort this out. Greetings, warrior. I see the burdens of our clan rest heavy on your shoulders today. The life of a warrior can be tough, filled with challenges and responsibilities. But remember, strength isn't only shown through fighting or hunting. As a mediator, I've learned that patience, understanding, and communication often resolve issues more effectively than claws and teeth. Conflicts can be avoided by trying to understand other cats' points of view. Remember, every cat in our clan is here because they have something to contribute. Whether they're a skilled hunter, a patient medicine cat, or a brave leader. It's not just about your own strength and skills, but how you use them to support your clanmates. If you find yourself in a dispute, don't let your temper get the best of you. Calm your mind and listen to what the other cat has to say. Try to find a solution that benefits the entire clan. It's not always easy, but a peaceful resolution often strengthens our bonds. Hmm. That's actually really useful advice. And I think, yeah, we take that on board. Go to the cat list and start from Oh, Shell Star. I was wondering what the clan thinks of the leadership. Well, I know Cherry Moore at the very least is so impressed with you for saving Cops Minnow's life. You put yourself in the way of a dog. We know how dangerous dogs are. Dogs have been a problem for us in the past. But you did it unflinching to save your clanmate. And we really like that about you. Rattle Cry. Wonders if Star Clan has given Lobos any prophecies lately. While wow, Lobos is interpreting a prophecy. Oh. Bluebell Web is greatly annoyed by Clanmates and Abilities. <laughs> Ripple Shade is in awe of Shellstar's leadership, which is justified because he did just make a big sacrifice. Fala wonders how Cherry Moore is doing. I think after that little tiff, he just wants to make up because we quite like each other. At least Cherry Moore thinks he's a really good clan mate and someone he looks up to. Ravenfoot's just looking around camp and Cops Minnow is racing through camp, accidentally knocking into clan mates. <laughs> You've had a mangled t you're meant to be staying in your den and then you sneak out of your den and get attacked by a dog and the leader saves you and now you're racing around the camp. Lie down. Lie down for two seconds. <laughs> Strike Dapple is far with some clan mates. Crested Web almost choked on their prey. Cherry Moore is grateful to Lobos for their treatment. Glow chip. Glowchip is basking in a sunray in the camp clearing. Well done for becoming a warrior. We'd instantly say that. We'd want to greet them and just congratulate them. Have you ever wondered about our ancestors in Starkland? What do they do all day? Do they just watch us every moment? I'd like to think that they're guiding us and, and giving us signs and showing us the right path. Their wisdom flows into our veins. Whispers in our dreams, lights our darkest hours. In times of doubt, I find solace in their presence. Knowing that they face trials of their own and persevered, it gives me strength. Our ancestors might not walk among us, but their spirits are forever with us, guiding us and guarding us. <laughs> well, he's become quite wise and faithful 
as he's grown. That's actually really cute. And we might as well talk to our flamboyant crested web while we're here. The life of a warrior is a path of service. We serve our clan, our family, our community. But in serving others, we don't just help them, we grow ourselves. Through service, we learn about responsibilities and empathy and sacrifice. We become better and stronger and wiser. So serve with an open heart and with dedication. It's not a burden, it's a privilege. Remember, it's in giving that we receive. Oh, I sound like a mentor now. <laughs> Okay, we can't leave Strike Dapple out. I keep calling you Strike Dapple. It's Strike Dapple. Strike Dapple, not Strike Dapple. <laughs> the forest changes with the seasons, but its wisdom remains constant. Uh oh, I'm sorry, Strike Dapple. I I'm being called away. <laughs> so we've heard that one before, I'm pretty sure. So I just skipped over it briefly. And instead, we will go on another patrol. So let's random again. We get Ripple Shade, and I'll random again for another cat. And the Fallow. Okay. And we'll go on a random patrol. The patrol quickly devolves into ghost stories leaving everyone on edge. Despite the tense mood, the patrol is successful, and as the afternoon wears on, the cats relax with each other. And I can bet any money that it was Ripple Shade who started off the ghost stories. <laughs> We're gonna skip a moon and hope that our leader heals well, and everyone's okay. Okay, I'm going to have to check because it's stressing me out. Okay, no one's dead. Oh, that stressed me out. You comfort a grieving clanmate, their body shaking with silent sobs. You say the kit from a fox, in respect from your clan. And this kit actually happens to be an injured kit that you found from another clan. Despite the potential for a conflict, you decided to help. Your vigilant during a night watch leads to an early detection of a badger threat. Your quick action saves the clan. It's fair to say that we have done a lot this moon. Um, we've been good, we helped a little rival clan's kit. Saved him from a fox. Oh. Ripple Shade has been looking forward to their moons of rest as an elder. They happily retire, quickly settling into the elder's den, and they've earned it. Oh, they've had a, a long run as a warrior. Lovers announce that they're expecting kits. They choose to continue their duties as usual for now. The girlfriends are having kits. Girlfriend kit times. Oh, and Bernet Smoke secretly had a single kitten. Oh my goodness. Trimor muse congratulations to Glowchip for a job well done. And Bernet Smoke surprises Trimor with something nice. Bluebell Web travels to Maple Clan to resolve some of the recent personal disputes. The meeting goes better than expected, and Bluebell Web returns with a plan to solve the issue for good. Finally. A loner waits on the border for a patrol, asking to join the clan. The loner decides to keep their old name. Nine. Oh, so we've got a couple new additions to the clan now, who I'm really excited to meet. Oh my gosh.
Shellstock is promising to take care of the clan with their lives. And I think this is a renewed invigoration to save their clan, especially since they've got a cute little kit and more kits coming on the way and a new member to look after so they've got a lot more responsibility and the clan's growing just like they wanted it to. It's exciting. Rattlecry is assigning cats to the Dawn Patrol. And Lobos wonders how Ravenfoot is doing. Bluebell Web is negotiating trade and herbs with a rival clan. And Nine, oh my gosh. He's beautiful, I love him. Oh my gosh. He's looking around the camp with wonder. He's sneaky and a beloved kit sitter, so he gets along really well with kits. But maybe we should keep our eye on him. It's a bit sneaky. Fallow's feeling underappreciated. <laughs> You're not the new boy in town anymore, Fallow. Though you are still beautiful. You got a heat stroke. Oh. Ravenfoot wishes they're still in the nest sleeping. I feel you there. Yeah. Excuse me, Cops Minna, what? What is that beautiful stick? <laughs> I love your fashion sense, it's incredible. So, Cops Minna's in awe of Shellstar's leadership, as she should be, as she was saved by him, and he is still currently injured. And Strike Dapple is sparring with some clan mates. Crested Web is wondering what Shellstar's thinking, letting in these random loner cats who seems a bit sneaky and Cherry Moore is ears dropping on Shell Store just to check that he's okay Glow Chips currently in the medicine den and Bayonet Smoke wonders how Ravenfoot is doing Ripple Shade is giving advice to younger cats of course you are you're always setting a good example aren't you I bet that advice gets us in trouble <laughs> And Dazzle Kit snuggles up to the belly of Burnet Smoke. A tiny little baby know it all. Oh, so cute. And we don't know who the other parent is. Their parents just Burnet Smoke. And that's all anyone needs to know. So no one inquires any further. Oh my gosh. So we're going to check on Shellstar, because they're not well and we care about them a lot. Greetings, warrior. Um, I actually don't have much to say. I'm sorry, I, I don't feel too good. Maybe check back later. Just to skip over some repeated dialogue, but I hope you feel better soon. Rattle Cry will check in with now. Ready for today's patrol, warrior? Your strength and courage are invaluable to our clan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've seen this one as well, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we check with Nine. Just to see what this cat's about. Every battle leaves a skull. Seen or unseen, it's part of being a warrior. But remember, scars are not signs of weakness. Interesting for you to say, I can't see any scars on you. Hmm. What is this sneaky boy up to? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just see the word sneaky and it <laughs> puts me on edge. <laughs> I need to judge less. Okay, Cops Minnow and a beautiful stick. We will flirt with. 100%. No one else could ever be as good as you. Are you... Are you being sarcastic? Or... Uh, so you want to fight? Uh... No. Worth a try. <laughs> the image in my head of Copsman was just always challenging people 
to like <laughs> battles now just because of that one phrase that one time but now it's in my head i just feel like every time she speaks to someone she's just like all right so you want to practice some battle moves <laughs> And we'll catch up with Bluebell Web on some mediation because it is our second move. So, mediate us and a random cat. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. Heads mediate, tail sabotage. Heads. Okay, so we'll mediate between us. Um, trust increased, respect increased, dislike decreased, and jealousy decreased. Huh. I like that. Good. Cute. So, I think we'll have a lovely patrol. Oh, with Crested Web. He's not spoke to you in a while. Patrol. 